Hi, so we are going to talk about cobulation. Cobulation in ENT surgery. What is cobulation? Co-ablation, that is controlled ablation. The word ablation has come from geography, which means mm, when the surface of the snow gets removed, it's a process by uh, liquefaction or a sublimation. It, that we are using the process over here in surgery it is when the surface of the tissue is removed mm. by plasma that's the action so cobulation that is controlled ablation it was uh, first started in 2001 that time we had Nokia 6310 mobile phone I think and that process now we we are using very well not just in ENT but also in orthopedics we use mainly for tonsils and adenoids and recently we have started using in the sinonasal surgery as well. So let me show you what it is exactly. So this is the cobulation system, okay. There is this bag of saline. This is the fluid which goes in and which controls the flow. This is a wand, like the Harry Potter wand, we call it wand. And then we have a controller foot pedal. You can see yellow and blue like a normal cautery, ablate and coagulate. So if you can see over here, come closer, there are three wires over there. One is this is electricity. This is the system where the plasma current is generated. You can see there is some value which we can increase or decrease. Same over here. Okay. Then this current goes in and there are two channels. This is a used one. That's why you can see the red. And can you see over here? These are the electrodes, ceramic electrodes, which produce the plasma current. So for the plasma current, we want the surface of the electrode to be filled with liquid saline for which we have this channel. From here, the saline will come in come out it will work and excess of the saline will get suctioned from here coming in over here so can you see the red thing is the blood and saline excess saline which gets suctioned this is the end where we connect to the suction we have a channel where we can control the flow up and down okay so whenever we use this the liquid goes on top of it, a current is formed and it evaporates the tissue. And this is controlled by the foot pedal. There are different types of wands. So there are different types of wand. There is a needle as well, which we can use. So this current basically is a, it produces low heat around 60 to 80 degrees. In bipolar, the heat is a lot, maybe at least 200 degrees Celsius and it can vary up to 600. So why are we using this? Less burning, that is less post-operative pain. When we use bipolar, like bipolar tonsillectomy or in nose surgery, it will char the surrounding tissue as well and which will result in post-operative pain. The kids or the patient, when they wake up, they'll experience more pain when we use bipolar. As against with this, the pain is minimal. One thing I like to add, you know, as I said, you know, there's a current which comes on this and the surface of plasma is formed. This should not generate smoke. And if you're operating and it generates smoke, that means there is no water current going in. It is blocked, the suction is blocked and that's why the tissue is burning. That time, stop it, take it out, clean it. You can clean with tissue, sorry, not tissue, swab, swab or scratch card. And then it will start working. It is very well used in tonsils or we can use in HHT. Patients are having a lot of repeated nose bleeds in that and also in case of adenoids. Thank you.